As you all know, naturally, men have been known as the head of the family and also the superior beings to the female gender. What if I tell you that there is a tribe where women are the head of the family? A woman goes out to work for the family while the man stays at home to take care of the children. Yes, you heard me right. Even the children answer the name of the woman. Welcome to Kasi tribe in India. In this tribe, when a couple is married, the groom moves into the bride's parents' home. Additionally, the groom will take the bride's surname. When children arrive, the youngest female will receive the largest inheritance and family house. But this inheritance comes with the responsibility of taking care of their aging parents. Men receive a small inheritance, but if he has any sisters, the women will get the larger share. Apart from women being the head of the family in this tribe, they are also the heads of household and are responsible for passing down their culture, traditions, and inheritance to their children. Though men have important roles in Kasi's society, but they do not hold the same level of authority as women. By examining these women-faced societies, we can gain a better understanding of diversity of human culture and the many ways in which people have organized themselves throughout history. See you in my next video.